Hi, I'm John Paladin. In the first demo that I put out, Special Effects Convention Makeup Made Easy, we went through all the steps of how to prep a hot foam appliance to application and most important, removal. During the conventions, I always get the same question. What happens if you make a mistake? What happens if you think that you have to start over again? Is it easy? Is it difficult? Let's take that one step further. What happens if you want to reuse a hot foam appliance that you've used before? This demo is going to take you through, step by step, the process of cleaning off old makeup, cleaning off old adhesive, making sure that your edges have been preserved, and how to make sure that you can use that hot foam appliance again. It's not a difficult process, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Let's go. The materials you're going to need are paper toweling, 99% alcohol with a solo cup to hold it, a medium stiff makeup brush, translucent powder, and a plate to hold your appliance. First, put down some paper towel to help protect the surface you're working on. I prefer to use shop towels that I pick up from Home Depot. Now, take out the appliance that you're going to be cleaning for reusing at a later time. The appliance that I'll be cleaning is a nose and cheek appliance I use on Max Grudenchek at one of his recent conventions when he appeared as Rom. As you can see, the appliance still has full application of makeup. I was very careful when I took this piece off of Max because I knew at a point in the future I was going to try to reuse this particular appliance. On the back you'll see the leftover residue of the adhesive and the close-up shows the edges have turned in on themselves, sticking to the back of the appliance to the leftover adhesive. We'll take care of this particular problem during the process of cleaning the appliance. At this point, set your appliance aside on a piece of paper tiling. Now bring over the plate that you're going to use. I picked mine up at the dollar store. After I'm finished with this plate, I can either clean it for reuse or simply throw it away. Make sure that your appliance is seated in the center of the plate. Now pour some 99% alcohol into a solo cup. I use 99% alcohol because it works the best. Lower percentages of alcohol will not do as good a job. Stay with 99% alcohol. Now take a medium stiff makeup brush, dip it into the alcohol, and start rubbing over the top of the appliance. As you'll notice, the makeup comes off very easily. Continue to dab on the alcohol, trying to saturate the front of the appliance and then lightly brush over the appliance and you'll notice that the makeup comes off very easily. A close-up view of the appliance shows just how well this process can work. Continue to add as much alcohol as you think is necessary. You don't need a lot of pressure on the brush, just enough to start the makeup to loosen from the appliance. Be careful to get into the folds of the sculpt so that you can get all the residual makeup off the appliance. At this point, you can start brushing a little over the edges. Be very careful with the edges. That's the most important part of this process. You must preserve those feather edges if you want to reuse the appliance. Continue to work the alcohol into the face of the appliance, taking off all the residual makeup. As you can see in this close-up, how well the 99% alcohol will work. Dabbing lightly on it, brushing the makeup off. At this point, your Solo Cup with the 99% alcohol is going to be clouded with makeup. Empty the Solo Cup and fill it again with fresh 99% alcohol. Now that you've completely cleaned the front of your appliance, turn it over. At this point, we'll start working on applying the 99% alcohol to the residual adhesive that's on the back of the appliance. Take your makeup brush, dab on more alcohol to anywhere you see residual adhesive. Don't worry about loosening the edges just yet. Now comes the next step. Take your appliance out of the plate. Take your 99% alcohol and pour in just enough to form a small pool of alcohol. And then place your appliance in the pool of alcohol, making sure that the entire underneath side of the appliance 
is saturated in the alcohol, including, and most important, the edges. Now, let the appliance soak for 10 to 15, maybe even 20 minutes. After the appliance has been soaking for a while, take your makeup brush and lightly brush over the edges of the appliance, brushing outward from the appliance. You'll notice little bits coming off of the appliance. That's the balled up blending adhesive that we use to blend the appliance to the actor. Dab those little bits off onto a spare piece of paper toweling and continue to lightly brush away from the appliance over the edges. Do this very delicately. These edges are the most important part in considering reusing the appliance at a later time. This takes a little bit of time, a whole lot of patience. It's tedious, but in the end, you'll be happy with the results. As you can see, the edges that had doubled under and stuck to the appliance are now working themselves free. Use the brush with light strokes, freeing the edge of the appliance. Any residual adhesive or blending agent will ball up at the end of the feathered edge. Use your brush to lightly push them off the edge of the appliance. Be very careful of the edges here. Dab off this excess adhesive and blending agent onto a spare paper towel and continue the process all around the appliance until all the edges are free and laying flat in the alcohol. Now take your saturated appliance out of the plate. Set the plate aside. Put the appliance down onto a fresh layer of paper toweling. Take your makeup brush and make sure that all the edges have not doubled under during this transfer process. Brush them out against the paper towel. Make sure that the appliance is laying flat. Brush completely around the entire appliance. Take extra special care of the edges. These again are the most important part of this process. Now pull off a fresh piece of paper toweling. Double it over and begin to soak up the extra alcohol that's still in the appliance. Soak up as much alcohol as you can out of the appliance, making sure that it is close to being damp dry as possible. This will lessen the amount of time you have to wait for the appliance to dry out before you can begin the final steps. Now you just let the appliance air dry. This could take up to a couple of hours, up to and including overnight. Check your appliance. Once you are sure that it is completely dry, take another piece of paper toweling. Pour out some translucent powder. Some people prefer to use baby powder. I prefer the translucent powder simply because it has absolutely no smell to it at all. Now take a makeup sponge applicator. Dip it into the translucent powder and start powdering the edges of the appliance first. Dab the powder on. Be very careful. Use a lot of powder. Don't be stingy. This will help protect the edges and keep them from sticking to themselves now that everything is clean. Once you've completely gone around the edges, now powder the rest of the appliance. All over the face, all over the back, especially where any adhesive could possibly be left over. Once you have completely powdered the appliance, you're ready to use it again. I hope this demo has helped you and you got a tip or two on how to clean off a hot foam appliance that you have. Now, this same process will also work on slush latex appliances that you may have. Have fun with your special effects makeup adventures at the conventions, and I hope to see you soon at one. Take care.